Yeah. Hello, my gorgeous, beautiful, wonderful queen bees. It is your girl, Amanda, the buzz artist. Welcome back to my channel. And oh boy, do I have a review for you today. I'm going to be reviewing the Arteza 24 acrylic paint set as well as their multimedia paper set. And you may be wondering, Why are you doing Arteza, Amanda? What's going on? Arteza recently reached out offering to give me this 24 acrylic paint set as well as two multimedia paper sets in exchange for an honest review. I am in no way sponsored by these people, but your girl ain't gonna say no to free paint, so... But I'm certainly going to give this my ultimate discerning eye. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start reviewing. Once the set arrived, I immediately ran downstairs, got my film equipment up, and got ready to put these paints to the ultimate test. Now, as I dove into the test, the first thing I gotta say was, Oh. My. God. The box and the organization of these paints was just absolutely mind-boggling magnificent. Like, holy hell! The design is sleek and sexy, and all the paint tubes are arranged in four racks stacked on top of one another, so it's really easy for transporting, and gives this wow effect when you're opening the box and seeing all the colors for the first time. Like, hot damn. And upon further inspection, each paint tube has a screw top, which is a big, big thumbs up on my end. And the paint tops didn't have that sealed top that you usually see with most other paint brands, so I could easily just pop open the top, squeeze out my paint like butter, and then get to brushing. In addition, each of these 24 tubes are 22 milliliters in size, which is comparable to other brands like Liquitex. So in terms of box organization and aesthetic, I had a ton of good feels and I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. Then I moved on to the labels on the paint tubes themselves and decided to give them a closer look. The most important one being the permanence rating. And in case you're not sure what that means, Permanence or light fastness, resistance of pigmented color to fading or color changing when exposed to light. Basically, it's grading your paint on how well it will hold its color over time. And according to the American Standard and Test Measure, or ASTM for short, paints will usually have the scale between 1 to 3. A light fastness of 1 means that a color will be able to last for over 100 years, and a light fastness of 3 means that your colors will last you approximately 15 to 50 years. So basically, you want your colors to be as close to 1 as possible. Possible. That's when my enthusiasm came to a complete and screeching halt. I noticed three plus signs on the Arteza paint tubes themselves. And after talking with Arteza to verify their light fastness rating standards, they do in fact follow the ASTM standard for permanence, which means that most of their colors are ASTM 3 standard, which means that they'll last about 15 to 50 years. Bummer. Especially since the student grade paints that I have used with Liquitex came with an ASTM 1 standard and they're about the same price as these Arteza paints. And plus something that was really bugging me, if Arteza is branding themselves as a premium paint and stating in their marketing that their paint will last hundreds and hundreds of years, they better have the ingredients to back that up. But unfortunately, their labels say otherwise. That's why it's so important to understand your paint labels and your ingredients and not trust the marketing that your paint brand is trying to push on you. I'm going to give Arteza a 1 out of five on that one. But despite my soul being crushed into a million pieces, I decided to move on with the review. Do an opacity and color swatch test. Basically, I placed a small rectangle of color over a black line to see how the paint dries over time and compare its opacity at the same time. I then compared each paint tube to their respective swatch, noting whether they remained true to their label. And sure enough, all but one of the paints reflected the true opacity that was listed on their label, which is good. I give opacity a five out of five. When it came to comparing the results of the dried paint swatches to the swatches that are listed on the paint tube itself, the results were kind of varied. The first thing I noticed was that all the colors dried a darker shade than what was shown on the bottle itself, which is a bit normal in the grand scheme of paint. Most paints will actually do that. But going deeper into that, a handful of colors looked pretty different compared to their tube swatch. I noticed the majority of disparity came from the blue pigments as well as a variation of some of the yellow, earth, and red pigments as well. I can see this as being a slight issue, especially when I'm trying to achieve a certain color in my work. And in general, when it comes to buying any sort of paint, I always recommend you do a color swatch test on a separate piece of paper or canvas just to see how the colors really play with one another and on the canvas itself. But with all that being said, I never really experienced this huge of a disparity with my Liquitex student or heavy body pro paints. The paints that I usually laid down with Liquitex generally dried almost exactly to what the tube indicated. So what gives Arteza? <laughs> In terms of color swatches, I give these guys a 3 out of 5. Then I decided to go to town and paint a sketch to test for spreadability, blending, and drying time. Now one thing I really did enjoy about these paints was the intense pigments that were used as well as the feel of the paint itself. 
It wasn't watery like student grade paint, but it wasn't completely solid like heavy body. It's almost like runny toothpaste. It's very, very easy to spread around and very easy to use with a palette knife for mixing. Now, something that was actually completely and totally weird for me was the drying time. These paints dried quickly, a lot more quick than what I had been used to. So this forced me to work fast on my palette when it came to mixing colors. So if you decide to go with these paints and just can't work that fast, you may want to invest in a gel retarder or water spray to add to the paint to increase the drying time. And let me tell you, I did have a little scare. I thought I had messed up on a section and put my hand over it just after I finished painting, only to see that it was almost completely dried. That was cray cray. I have never worked with paint that dried this fast before. So I've only been talking about the paint, but let's actually talk about the Arteza Multimedia Paper. Wow, the paper is fantastic. It is thick, it is acid free, so it won't yellow over time, and it comes in a spiral bound notebook. My goodness, it is so much fun to flip through that and easily get to the different pages. It does feel like premium quality paper. And let me tell you, this paper took a beating from me with my brush. It was able to withstand all that friction and all of the layers of paint that I was caking on it. So when it comes to the pad itself, I give it a five out of five for sure. So in terms of the paint experience and just the overall mixing and whatnot, I give these paints a four out of five. I really did enjoy playing with the colors and working with the nice, deep, saturated tones. So after experimenting, poking and prodding, and being a general nuisance with all the dozens of questions that I had about these paints, here are my concluding thoughts. And let's start with the good. When it comes to the organization of the paints, the colors that you're getting, and the general sizes of each of the paint tubes, 22 milliliters, I think it's really fantastic. It's really great for anybody who's starting out. The opacity ratings on the tube are pretty much on point, and the paint tubes and the paint itself is extremely easy to handle, from the actual screw top itself to the mixing of the paints. It is so much fun to handle, and I love the texture. And not to mention the multimedia paper is phenomenal. Now let's move on to the cons, which mostly are applicable to the Arteza acrylic paints themselves and not the multimedia paper. Color swatches all dried a darker shade, and a handful of the color swatches looked almost completely different to what their tube swatches looked like. Drying times for this are pretty fast, so if you are not very fast at blending, these paints may not actually be a good fit for you. And debating on whether this is actually a pro or a con, there are a lot of colors to choose from. If you are a beginner and you have absolutely no idea what colors that you need to use or do and you really want to learn, you don't need 24 different colors. You Look at this, you pretty much need only these eight compared to the 24 total that they give you. This looks a lot less intimidating than these do. When I first started, I started with a base set of paints from Liquitex, and I've been able to make every sort of color under the sun. You don't need 24. And the last con is unfortunately the light permanence rating. Most of them are a ASTM standard three, meaning that they'll last about 15 to 50 years. Now, I don't want to sound like a negative Nancy when it comes to these kind of paints, because there are good uses. You can use these paints if you are a beginner student who doesn't have a lot of money and wants to start out with a good decent set of paints to play with and not be worried about spending money to practice and play. That's a big part of art, right? Is practicing and doing more and more paintings. If money is the limiting factor here, yeah, these Arteza paints are a great option for you. And not only that, you get a whole variety of paints for a really good price. These paints are really good if you want to journal, use it for sketchbook practice, or to use for your underpainting for your actual commissioned work, where light permanence really isn't going to play a huge factor. But if you're a seasoned artist that wants to sell their work, I would not use these paints as your final piece. Because investing in professional paints is extremely important to you and your career as an artist. For at least for the reason being that you want your painting to last you more than 50 years. You want your painting to last you for hundreds and hundreds of years. And you'll find that for a few extra bucks, you can get those professional grade paints to use on your paintings themselves. Like Liquitex, which is my personal favorite. I mean, you won't be getting all the extra colors that Arteza will offer you, but you really don't need all of them anyways. So final thoughts. Great if you're a student, great if you're learning, great for underpainting, great for journaling, but not so great if you're trying to do commissioned work as a paid artist. And so with that being said, I worked out a deal with Arteza to provide you with a special coupon code if you want to go ahead and try these paints out for yourself and form your own opinion about it. You can find the coupon code link in the description below, so be sure to check that out. So what are your thoughts about these paints? Have you used them before? Comment below and let me know. I'd love to hear your opinion. So with that being said, that is the end of this review and rant session. If you guys enjoyed this review, please be sure to give this video a like and to subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. You know what to do so that you can see more fun art reviews, art challenges, art tutorials, and other fun art related things from me to you in the future. And remember everybody, love yourselves and always have fun with your art. See you all next time. Bye.